We are the youth of the Blackfeet Nation. We are strong and free. Like the horses that run through our mountains. We are proud of our history and our traditional teachings. We live with respect for all living things as we have been taught. Growing up, we have seen this value of respect slip away. Drugs and alcohol, bullying, fighting, the division of families, and the polluting of our lands are threatening who we are as Blackfeet people. We believe it is time for a change, a change for respect and honor. We are taught to respect our families, our parents, and grandparents. They are the ones we depend on and the ones that keep us safe. We show them the greatest respect, knowing that they are forever there for us. As a Medicine Lodge or Ocon person, respect is something that you gain it is something that you sacrifice for. It is something that you build around. You build your family. You build your integrity. You build, you build your intelligence on respect. Ultimate respect is looking around at people and knowing boundaries. Respect means that somebody in your life has told you that there's a, a given way to present yourself not only in receiving, but also giving. I believe that it's when you care for others around you and look after one another and the people around you. Right, being nice, respecting your parents, not talking back. When you're asked to do something, do it the first time. You shouldn't have to be asked twice. When I hear the word respect, I think of uh, I think of respecting my elders, of, of helping them out and letting them, letting them in line for us when we do something because it respects them and they'll respect us back. I was taught to always help out the elders and always help the un unfortunate and always to give what you got. Well, the way I was taught respect is you don't look people in the eyes and you, you always, any time an elder asks you to do something, you always do it for them. Having respect for yourself and elders and people who talk to you and stuff. My family, my, my people, you know, elders, my culture. Everything about, everything that I believe in, that's about respect. We respect our elders because they are the people that hold our culture. They are our teachers, the ones that pass to us our Blackfeet language, traditions, and ceremonies. They hold in them the knowledge of what is truly sacred. I was raised with a lot of respect, um, being raised by grandparents, parents, you have to look after like your my grandparents and I have to respect them and help them out because they're elders. Well, my grandparents and my grandma taught me how to respect people by not treating them as strangers but as family. My dad, he taught me a lot. He taught me lots of things about respect and my sister did too. My grandparents, they always taught me always like with respect. They, when I disrespect, they'll stop me and they'll correct me. Who really taught me how to respect is my grandma, Evie Burdettler. She taught me how to respect and not talk back, do not interrupt when people are talking, and just when your elders walk by, try to help them out, walk or open doors. 
But sitting by that drum by my uncles, that's when I very first learned about respect. That drum. It taught me a lot. <clears throat> taught me how to learn, how to live, how to present myself. It showed me how to open my ears and open up my mind and just take in everything, learn it once because sometimes you're going to be showing something once and they're not going to show you again. If you have those teachings and you have people that have the traditions and been taught those traditions, they're able to t pass those on to you. And I think that's one of the very important parts of it is being able to have people that have that knowledge, that still have that knowledge that's been passed down. For the earth and all of her creatures, the earth provides us with our very existence, the air, the water, the food, and the shelter that keeps us alive. It is everything to us, and we must take responsibility for keeping it in balance. Where we live, it's nature, and uh, climate and everything's all clean and clear, our water's clear. And the more you go out and there's factories and the more you hit bigger cities, like the water's polluted and stuff, and the air's not good around in other places, this is like the best place you could grow up to be with a good, nice, good climate. And other than that, I would just tell them, stay here your whole life. That way you'd have good willing and elders around here would teach you. They could. Start getting out, picking up trash, and they shouldn't be using those styrofoam because they're not biodegradable, and and we shouldn't like they should stop the factories because that what causes the polluted air. Today, with young people, they can show respect by getting out and picking up trash and helping the environment and recycling more often. Say you're walking on the street and you drop a piece of trash, that's disrespect. But if you pick it up, it's respecting Mother Earth. And uh, I practice respect in that way by, uh, by showing other people like how I want to be treated. So like, if you do somebody else good, they'll teach you good back. That's a sign of respect. Every day is a prayer day. In the old, old days, the old people would stand outside the minute the sun came up and pray and give thanks for the, the day, thanks for your life and the things that you have and pray for everybody. We've kind of forgotten how to do that. 